What's up? We're beyond the shore. I'll tell you some crazy shit. I think the most noteworthy one, notable one, is uh, the tent behind the storage area in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know there was actually an airport back there, but we'll get to that in a second. We will get yeah, to that in a second. So. so basically it was like the hottest tour that we had been on, and we were coming out west. We were with like Bermuda and Barrier, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. Yeah. And there was just a ton of mosquitoes, like a mass amount. Just, All of the mosquitoes, just everywhere. looking like we had chicken pox or something, just bites <laughs> everywhere. So in order to beat it, we decided to get like, they would just get in the van somehow, just even if the doors were closed. So we got this tent and we went to like search for where we could set it up and just sleep outside. It said it would keep like bugs out and stuff, but it was only like a three person tent. So I guess <laughs> to me and Zach. in the van anyway. Yeah. So the van anyway. So yeah, like I said, we found this like storage facility. It was in the middle of nowhere, like absolutely nowhere. Where were we? Missouri. It was Missouri. Okay. We like went to the liquor store, got some bourbon. Yeah, we were just like, <laughs> we'll make a good time out of it. Yeah, that was at a gas station because we got those station? tiny bottles of wine too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, we found that spot, we set up, and you know, we just have a good time. We started just, you know, drinking a little bit amongst ourselves. There's no one around. We did pull up though, and we hear this like faint bass in the background. So we're like, man, let's go find this party. Like we're trying to do something. <laughs> we and, could never find it. Oh, no, we could never, but it was just all night. Like literally we found this place at like nine and we and we heard it pr basically when we woke up. Like I'm pretty sure that eight. party was underground in like a nuclear like Yeah, shelter, no, definitely. Or shelter or something. So, so first things first, we set up the tent. That was, you know, if you ever try to set up a tent before, with no previous, you know, <laughs> skill of setting a tent up. It went a lot better than it could. Have. Yes, it really did, though. But, okay, we got that up, set up, you know, good to go. Start, you know, just take a few shots amongst ourselves, having a good time. We you were know. taking laps around the Bro, if Yeah, we started running for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Exercise, Me man. running. Like. Exercise. We start to go to sleep, for one. We're all feeling pretty good. We start to go to sleep, and... We hear an airplane coming in. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know that we were literally like maybe. How far are you think? No, no, like so we're like off the side of the road, and there's the storage facility, and that's we just like, like all you see. And there's like a field behind it, and we, we were like a hundred we yards from behind it. it. Yeah, like so a, we see like this shit. airplane come down. I thought it was like apocalyptic because the, the jet <laughs> engine was like woo, you know, just killing it. I thought we were gonna die or quake. <laughs> I don't know. But we see the plane come down. We're like, oh, that was that was cool. I guess that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And like that was like a pretty epic moment to go to sleep to. Like you you're getting hammered, and then you you pitch this tent, and you're setting up your sleeping bag, and you're getting ready to go to bed, and then like an airplane out of nowhere just, just drops right in. You. Those are like the experience, cool things, you, like noteworthy on tour. But the good part of the story, <laughs> we're we're asleep. <laughs> okay, me and Zach get stuck in the van. We got like bucks spray, so we were good. The DEET. It's not like <laughs> You remember the DEET? <laughs> we'll get to that later. DEET, DEET apparently kills, has killed like five people ever in the world. It's in bug spray. And, and Andrew, Andrew almost, almost died. Six. He was almost one of them in the Bahamas. <laughs> but he's off street. That was a cool story. But not cool. I hope you've never, you know. Don't die the yeah. DEET poisoning. Okay, so we're asleep. Cops cops pull up. Okay. And my, my feet are hanging out of the van. We kept the doors open because it was hot. And he, he tickles my feet to wake me up. But I didn't know it was a cop yet. I was like, you know, I was like, Jared. Yeah, none of us knew. Get off, you know? And the guy was like, buddy, wake up. Big beam of light in my face. I was like, oh, crap, it's the cops. Like, <laughs> dang. And the first thing this cop says to me, no joke, was I just pulled around back to take a piss. And I noticed you guys setting up camp, just checking everything out. I was like, what? Okay, well, he's like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, you know, we're just in a band. We're trying to, you know, rest for the night before we drive another six hours tomorrow. No big deal. And he was like, can you wake your buddy up? And I was like, yeah. Try to wake Zach up. He was just out. I ended up like having, I like punched you to wake up or something. <laughs> he was like, what? You know? <laughs> Ask for IDs. You know, he reads it. You know, he takes him a second because we have these Kentucky licenses. And he's like, oh, Kentucky boys, all right? Yeah. Shines in the, you know, in, in the van. <laughs> yeah, he sees that. our Kentucky bourbon. He was like, ah. You boys don't, you know, boys don't fuck around, do you? I said, no, sir, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he loved it, though. He loved it. And so, uh, it's just like, all right, yeah, guys, yeah, guys, keep sleeping. He said, he said, he said, remember how cool Milwaukee cops are, you know? Milwaukee. Missouri. Where were we? Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> okay, well, good. Missouri cops. Are. <laughs> But uh, no, that was that was definitely a cool story. The, the whole time they were like having that conversation, the cops were pulling up. 
the like Andrew and Jared were zonked out in the tent and I was the one in there because they were like in the van or whatever but I saw the lights pulled up and as soon as I did the sleeping bag went straight over my head and I just laid there like holding my hand over my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like you think like when you're in bed if your feet are under the cover it's like you're safe here. or something like I'm I don't sure know. You thought like I heard him laying around and then I heard the other cop like go out into the field to take a piss and I was like what oh, the hell is yeah, going we're on? Fine. Airplane just landed. Oh but I will say you know how I was mentioning the bass that we heard all night? He said he said how are you guys sleeping through that bass? We were like I mean we, we play music it's like loud we kind of we can tone it out no big deal and he said yeah, it's probably those Mexicans partying all night again. <laughs> he said, I, in fact, I'm going to go break that up right now. And he laughed. <laughs> that was it. That was in the story. It was oh. good. So that's story one. <laughs> driving out of Canada, like a mile from the border. And uh, he's like, dude, I gotta take shit. I'm like, all right, fine, pull off at a Walmart because Walmarts are supposed to be open 24 hours except for this one in Canada because it's Canadian. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, it's yeah, open. it's closed, it's not open. I was like, what do you want to do? You want me to go to a gas station? He's like, nope, can't wait. Literally like, would you grab like a towel? I don't even think it was uh, paper. Might have been boxers, I don't know. It was either <laughs> like boxers <laughs> or a towel or something. <laughs> And he just like runs into the like garden center. Pine trees. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Should have wiped with a pine cone. Just, oh god. No. Not there. Yeah. I was thinking like, where'd you go? He was like the sidewalk over there. No, it's cool. He was like, all right, let's get the fuck out of Canada. I mean, who knows <laughs> the difference between a human turd and like they just you probably know. thought some big dog ran nah, through. Yeah, it's just, it's a it's a bear, a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then the other spot, spot oh, two. Oh god. All right, I don't know what state that was in. We were, I think it was no. Arizona. It was Arizona or New Mexico or something like that. Oh, and yeah. It was like one of those stretches where there's no exits of anything mm -mm. for like 80 miles. Mm -mm. There's a ghost town. And it said they had like gas yeah, stations. Yeah, like we pulled stuff. off and it's like, oh, hey, there's a gas station here. Like there's a gas station and a, it wasn't, like a subway and was all that one. kind of stuff, except for there wasn't anything. It was just like a deserted ghost town. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I don't know what to do. And then we see this like this box car. Like literally just a box car, like a caboose or something, just sitting in the middle of the dirt. It was on, yeah. It was just off the side of the road, just mm -hmm. in the dirt, like no train tracks, like even like miles from there. Mm -mm. And he's like, "All right, I'm going in there." And I actually we have see a picture his, of that. Yeah, we see his head. We see his <laughs> head thing, floating through the window that. of the caboose. He's like looking at us. You know, he's just like we're like beans, is watching us taking a. The funny thing crap. about that, there was a cr empty Corona <laughs> bottle in there and some homeless guy's pillow. Oh! <laughs> so, I, I took a shit in his house, I guess. Oh. <laughs> like, where does, oh, how do you live there? Like, there's no water for like 70. It was hot. Miles. I don't know. A few bottles on the shit. table. No mads. A few walls. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the that story. What's another one? Oh, and then just maybe three days ago. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was yesterday, dude. Was it? Yeah, it was yesterday. It happens. As <laughs> as Vince said behind the camera now. You it happens get, once a year. You get one shard a year and and Jared already used his in February. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta go the rest of the year. We pull out of the gas station. It's literally like not five seconds later. He was like, "Oh man, turn around." <laughs> like, what? Yeah. It what did you do? It He's happened. like, "I just shit my pants." Yeah. Man. It was fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. We've we've made we've made an agreement. Whoever farts, you own up immediately. Just I did it. Like you know, you can't you can't back down. No, you have to like ask for the Febreze can immediately. Yep. Otherwise, it's just... Put the shirt over the face, yep. spray the Febreze there. It's like a double filter system. Yeah. It's, awesome. it's pretty dope. <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right, so this one time we were out in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we just played a show, and uh, we were, you know, leaving the venue. We were chilling with some people, friends we made at the show, and uh, they got a hotel room. So we go back and we just hang out at the hotel room, you know, we're all having a good time. We went on a four loco run, we come back, <laughs> and I guess like cops were on a stakeout at this hotel or something like that. It was kind of shady. Oh, dude, you know? I'm like sitting there, like in the like, just waiting to take a shower. I just yeah. want to take a shower, and go back to the van, and go back yeah. to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And then like cops bust in, and they're like, what are y'all doing in here? I'm like, oh, I guess we're like being loud or something. Like, we'll yeah. be quiet. And then they're like, no, where's the cameras? Where's the cameras? 
We're like, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? We were sitting there playing beer pong. We like ripped the table off the wall and we like <laughs> set up like solo cups when we were sitting there shooting and the cops bust in like banging on the door. So we, yeah, we think they're like talking about we're that. We're like, oh no, noise complaint. Okay, we yeah, got like, okay, Turn the music down. Turn the music down. They're like, okay, so where are the cameras? We're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and uh, they were like, we uh, I got like a random tip that someone was in a hotel room over here filming a porno. <laughs> and they were like, a porno? <laughs> we're just, <laughs> we're we're just like, like, we're no. in a hotel room. It's a bunch of dudes. And we're just like sitting there. We all got drinks. And we're just like, well, <laughs> we're not that drunk yet. So. <laughs> yeah. Not all of us, at least. Yeah. Okay. So, the whole time you were... they're in there. I didn't even know the cops were in there. I didn't even know this was going on. They busted oh. in, apparently. I'm in the bathroom the whole time. At least an hour and a half, I've been laying in this bathtub and hot water just pouring on me. <laughs> I'm blacked out in there, butt-ass naked, <laughs> taking a shower, hammered out of my mind. Apparently, apparently, Zach and Jared walked in there. Jared got some video or something. I guess that counts as a porno. I'm, I, I, I don't know, but that happened. I was completely unaware of it. The only thing that I remember after getting out of the bathtub was passing out on a, a bed in some oh. random hotel. Yeah, dude, he passed out, like, sitting, like, straight up like this, arms crossed. <laughs> like, literally, like, King Tut. Like, dude, I was just like, dude, he was just, like, ready to be, like, in a sarcophagus or something like that. Let's wrap him up. Never going on Four Loco Runs again. That was the we worst bailed. kick. No, that's like, we idea. did that every day of that tour. We were just trying to find Four Locos or some off-brand of it. Yeah. And it was just the it's worst bad. idea. Bad. So now we stick to 40s. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it has four in its name, that's fine. Yeah. No more four, lo four locos. Uh. Yeah, we did. We we bailed out of that hotel room. Uh, long no, dude, story the best short, part. Yeah. The best part was like, well, you all like slept, slept in the hotel room, but I slept in the van. Slept, you slept I, in the van. I don't remember. I, can't remember. I know I slept, I slept in the van. I when we were like leaving, they like we rounded like the corner, like head back to the van, and like there were like cops like escorting like dudes in cuffs like toward the parking lot. So they were really like, oh. making a porno. Yeah, so they, they, so they actually did that. finally find the room that was making a porno, and I guess they yeah. got those guys. They were just, but, there was like know. four of them just getting like carted off, and I was just like, oh. I must shit. have been in another universe that night. You were in another universe. I, I, I was the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> he was the liquor. He's the liquor. playing in Pittsburgh, you know, we're downtown Pittsburgh, and uh, show's over, we're loading out all of our gear, just uh, <laughs> hanging out with uh, everybody in uh, Fit for an Autopsy, and uh, basically it was like, yeah, it was like the ending of that tour, <laughs> yeah, it was the last day of that tour, and we were just loading out our gear, you know, we are all like, you know, ready to go home and all that, but uh, I asked Andrew for <laughs> like some trailer keys so I could start loading stuff in, <laughs> I'd had enough uh, that day, I was just like, you know what, next he was, person, he, he was, he's, he, we got in a little argument. I don't know yeah. what happened. And we were like in each other's faces. Yeah. I almost knocked him out. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, we were almost fought right but there. But the somebody about got stuck. Yeah, but the thing yeah. was, so we're already like already hyped. And Jared says something. There just, was a guy in Pittsburgh. We were like at a little intersection because the place that we played was right here. And some guy comes through beeping his horn. And immediately after the horn goes off, Jared's like carrying his pedal bag. He just looks around. Dick in the booty ass. <laughs> and, and then, like, from then on, it just got nuts. Well, see, well, okay, so here's what happened. J yeah, Jared said whatever he did, and the guy that was right beside us didn't like what he said. He had this, like, his lady with him or whatever. He's, like, it's like 70. Walking on crutches. No, he wasn't 70. He was, like, maybe 55. He was on crutches, and he had, like, you know, his, his little lady. He said, watch what you're saying. There's a lady in here. <laughs> There's a lady here. So... I was like, well, yeah. man, like, calm down. Like, you're coming at us awfully quick with your crutches. Like, <laughs> dude, you, should, you should not, like, <laughs> roll up on us like this. This dude gets so pissed so quick. He throws one of his crutches down. And he's trying to fight Jared. He's trying to. Yeah. So I come in. I was like, dude, Starts you, need, swing on you need to back up. Andrew's like, he gets behind me. He's like, all right, we're about to, like, jump this dude with crutches. Jared's yeah. got his pedal bag behind him waiting for this dude to come up with his crutches. We're about, to, gonna sling we're about to musically smash this guy we're still with all like, of our gear. We're, like, 20 deep sitting there on the Drop ground. Drop a base cab on him like an ATM in Breaking Bad, but... Yeah. I don't know. It but was crazy. He comes over, he drops his crutch. He's got the other one in his hand, and he's coming over to Jared, and Eli just fucking loses it. Drops whatever he's got in his hands and just comes at him. Like, all you ready to go? All aggression towards me, he just <laughs> immediately throws it on this guy. And so, for some reason, oh, not for some reason, it was loud. We were being loud at this point. Everybody from the tour package comes around the corner. If you've ever seen the guys from Fit for an Autopsy, 
really nice guys, but up front, you know, they, they look pretty tough, you know? <laughs> and this guy turns his face to see everybody coming around the corner, and he's just, he looks like he had just, like, died himself right there. He got so scared. The you know what he thing, said, though? Uh, he got, in, yeah. He said, like, you know, he saw all of us out there, and like, we all have, like, tattoos and whatnot, and he was like, I'm a, I see all y'all with tattoos. I, got, I used to work in the police force for <laughs> this amount of years, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and have the cops down here, and I'm gonna get all of y'all, because I know you all have warrants out for your arrest. I'm I was gonna just start like, searching all your okay. warrants. I've never been arrested Bro, you don't once. even know me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get all your warrants. Yeah. Yeah. Here I am, got tattoos, never done a drug in my life, hammered in public. <laughs> okay, here's here's the thing too. His lady was Korean, and so the whole time oh, she was like, no, no, she was just like squealing, like no, trying to get him no. to stop. He's like this 55 year old veteran, just going ape shit, I'm ready to search kill all somebody. Your and then they get in their car, getting ready to leave, and he goes to back up, but he comes, oh, they like, were he drunk swings as fuck, around by the way. to they were it. Yeah, that freaked me out too. Like he's gonna hit us with his car. I was about to and you can see they've got the windows down. You can see her in the passenger seat. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that and was then a good like one. It, yeah, and then he just drove trickled off, off went home, and then we went to a bar, yes. the next bar, because we had just left like two. <laughs> was it was like twelve or one in the morning. You know, people are all leaving the bars. The streets are all crowded with people or whatever. You know. Moral of the story is don't go to Pittsburgh with warrants. With warrants. Because they will search them. <laughs> Uh, according to the man <laughs> according to the man with the crutches so there's the Pittsburgh crutch man story <laughs> crutch man what a douche <laughs> so we're out in Utah um, right outside of Salt Lake City a city called Ogden and um, we, were, we played a show there at this venue and um, we're just out hanging out you know right after the show and we get uh we talked to like some guy. I figured like he was, was in the green room. Yeah, it was in the green room. Like the guy that owned the venue. He owned the venue, and he lived next door room. to it. And it was this crazy was ass room. You know, he had all this shit in there. It was and, like uh, literally like the most obnoxious amount of like horror or just like the weirdest shit you yeah. could possibly think of. It looked like straight room. out of uh, what was that movie? Like, it looked like it looked like a serial killer's hotel room. It looked like Metal Blade's office. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy though, and he was telling us how like uh, Ogden, like it was a, it's an old town, and they have these these underground tunnels that go underneath the whole town, like these stretch for miles, you mm -hmm. know. Um, they used to use them during the Prohibition when they were running like liquor and alcohol and stuff like that, so they wouldn't get caught by the cops, obviously. So they're just running this shit under town, but now they're all abandoned, obviously, and um, all the tunnels are still, though the tunnels are still there, like you know. So we go down there and um, we start walk walking around, just exploring, just seeing what's down there, and the dude that like owns the place I mean it was like really connected to like the building you know, it was connected to this tunnel mm -hmm. he's like yeah ghost hunters were here like last week doing a paranormal investigation so like apparently they're haunted or whatever so it made it that much more we were like, like no yeah. way so like you know we're like way down in these tunnels you know just like looking around Dude, freaking the out the, the coolest thing about it or I guess what may have made it most creepy was the way you actually got into the basement? Oh yeah. It was a. It was literally like a door, but instead of on a wall, it was on the floor. Yeah. Like oh, guys had to open school. it up yeah. that Texas way. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it creaked, doors, man. It and it was like man, dust the worst came part up. is you got like oh, no, you no, got no. down in there, and there was like a living room set up. Oh but, man, there was like, with there a bird was, cage yeah, with a doll's head yeah. in it. Oh, there's a ton of papers. Oh man. Like someone just threw like a thing of papers down the stairs, and like there's just paper everywhere. It's like everything has not been touched in Buffalo Bills bedroom. It was horrible. Straight up. I don't know if it actually looked like that, if that was just like ghost hunters or ghost watchers, ghost adventures. I mean, fuck, you know. You say ghost <laughs> Name drop the CDC, he's out on Metal Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Pick that shit up on iTunes. I'll throw that in there. No, yeah. but uh, I don't know if like ghost adventures people were like throwing shit down there, just making it look more haunted than yeah. what it was, but like it looked creepy it as did. fuck. They did a good job. They did they a good did. job, so. Yeah, it was, that was scary. And that's the speakeasy story in that's Utah. The, yeah. That was good.